know it's 0.35, but it says 0.35 percent. Can you do the same thing as you did before? For instance, when I had to do 19 percent, you said that was equal to 0.19, true? Yeah. Yes. How did you get the 0.19? You could remove the decimal. What decimal? The, the, the right. So we have a decimal right there? Yeah. And you moved it twice, right? Let's say you get the 0.19. Can you move that decimal? Yeah. yeah. How many spots are you going to move it? Two. 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 To the right or left? Right. Right. Yeah. Right's going to change that. Wait, right Right would be this way. You want to move that way? Yeah. yeah. Which way did you move this one? To the left. left. So you'd say you move this one to the left, and that yet one you're going to use right. this one to the right? Yeah, no. to the left. To the left. Mm. That depends on the one. To the left. To the left. Mathematics should work the same all the time, no matter what you have. So if you have. 19% and you move it to the left and you have 0.35%, you better darn well be sure you're going to move to the left. You can't move some things to the left and some things to the right. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, it doesn't make any sense. How, I want you to think about why you're going to move this to the left. Think about this for a second. You, you ready to watch it? Watch. You've got 0 0.35 times the percent equals 1 over 100, yeah? If you have 1 over 100, that's the same thing as point. 0.35 times 0 0.01. Point th one, 1 over 100 is the same thing as 0 0.01, yes? Do you agree? Do it on your calculator right now. Do 0 0.35 times 0 0.01. Actually, you could just think about it right here. Look up at the board. You can do it in your head. You can do it in your head. What's 1, one times 35? Well, it's 35. How many decimal places do you have? One, two, three, how many? Four, four. How many spots should you move from the four. four spots? That means you're going to go actually past what you were. It should be 0 .0035. Is that what's on your calculator? Mm -hmm. point zero zero three. So in order to get point zero zero three five, if you are changing, I'll make it real clear for you, if you're changing from a percent into a decimal, even if it already has a decimal, if you're changing from a percent into a decimal, you move that decimal place two spots to the, which way was it? Left. To the left. So here we go, okay. We got 0.35%. We're going to go two spots, that's 0 0.0035. 0 0.0035. Let's try one more, okay? Let's do uh, 0.8. Now, do you have to show me all this work? No. No, no, you don't have to show me all that work. You just need to know that you're going to move the decimal place two spots to the left to change between a percentage and a decimal equivalent for that percentage. Not sure if you're all right with that. Okay, so... Zero point eight percent. Zero point eight percent. That's true, it has a decimal, but right now it's a percentage because it has a percent sign. I want you to change that into a decimal for me. Are you going to get 80 or 0 .008? 0 .008? Good, because we know to change from a percentage to a decimal, I move that two spots to the left, I need to create a zero. I'm going to get 0 .008. Hey, by the way, should I have a percent after that? No. No, I'm changing from a percent to a decimal, so that would be, that'd be incorrect. We don't want that. We want 0 .008. Here's one way you can think of it. The decimal equivalent should look like a smaller number than what you started with. So for instance, we started with <coughs> 0 .08, right? Mm -hmm. The percentage should look bigger than this. The decimal should look smaller than that one. Same thing with here. 0 .0035 looks smaller than 0 .35. You with me? 0 .19 looks smaller than 19%. Hey, also, could you go backwards? If I gave you a decimal, could you change it into a percentage? Yeah. Okay, let's try. Is that a percentage right now? No. 
No, that's a decimal. It has no percent symbol. Can you change it into a percentage? Yeah. You're going to do the opposite operation that you just did. Okay, I'll show you mathematically why it works in a second, but I want you to get the practicality of this right now. How can you change 0.64 into a percent? What do you think? Move the decimal right. Okay, move the decimal left or right? Right. You're going backwards, correct? So here we moved it left to change from percent to a decimal. To change from a decimal to percent, we'll, we'll go backwards. So I know I said, well, you don't do left sometimes and right the other times, but if you're dealing with percentages, yes, you move it to the left. If you're dealing with decimals changing into percentages, you move it to the right, and I'll show you why in just a second. So this, we know it should be 64, 64 what? Percent. You've got to show that sign. You've got to show that sign. Change. To change to percent, you move backwards. Yes. <clears throat> why? Why do we do that? Well, if, if you think about it, we want to create a percent, right? We want to create a percent. What we do instead of multiplying by 1 over 100 to change from a decimal, uh, from a percent to a decimal, we multiply by 100 percent to create that percent, to create that thing. Otherwise, because if we did 1 over 100 again, it, we'd be dividing by that percent. There, there's no percent to divide by. That, that wouldn't be appropriate. We'd have something over a percentage. It wouldn't be mathematically correct. So if we multiply by 100 percent, what happens when you multiply by 100? Well, you, you move that decimal two spots, right? So we go, oh, yeah, multiplying by 100, two spots, and you still have that percent. That's how we're getting 64 percent. That's why you can multiply by that. Try that on your, on your calculator. Take 0.64. Multiply by 100. What'd you get? 64. Just keep in mind, you multiplied by 100%. That's why we have that percent up there. How many people understood, understood that? So basically, you're multiplying by 100 parts. That's what you're doing. Multiplying by 100 parts, saying, oh, OK. Well, those 100 parts right there signify a percentage. Yeah. You move it two spots. Two spots. Okay. What has to go there? Zero. Yeah, that's a good question. Thank you for that question. Hey, how about this? What if I have 1.78? 1.78. Is that a decimal or a percentage right now? That's a decimal. Does it have a percentage? So that's only a decimal. Can you change it into a decimal number? Can you change it into a percentage? Yeah. Which way are you going to move that decimal, left or right? Right. <clears throat> if I move it, am I supposed to go this way? Yes. Yeah. No. This way. Right. Yeah. I'm changing it oh, into, yes. into a percentage, yes? How much is it going to be? 178%. 178%. 178%. The percent should be bigger than the decimal. It should be a bigger number. 178 should be a hundredfold difference, hundredfold times, or sorry, a hundred times that number. Should be bigger than that. And it is, right? The percent number is bigger than that number. That's how it should always be. No matter whether you're going backwards or forwards, the percent will be a bigger number numerically than your decimal equivalent. 178%. Hey, why don't you try this one? I'd like you to write that as a percent for me, please. When it's a percent, you left. If you're trying to change, you can't say when it's a percent or when it's when it's. De you have to tell me what you're changing from and what you're changing to. Okay. A decimal to a percent, it's left. When you're changing a decimal to a percent, you're moving it to well, yeah, the right. When you're moving a percent to a decimal, you move it to the left. It's whether you're dividing by 100 or you're multiplying by 100. That's the difference there. OK, I, I can foresee that you got one of two things. You either got 0. 0.00038 or you got 3.8. 3.8. 3.8. How many people got 3.8? Good for you. That's fantastic. If you don't have a percentage, you're trying to change it into percentage, 
You're basically multiplying by 100. Change from a percent to a, a decimal, you're dividing by 100. But from a decimal to a percent, you're multiplying by 100. You're moving it two spots to the right, you get 3.8%. Yes, it's always by a hundred. Would you raise your hand if you're okay with this? Let's recap a little bit, okay? If I give you a percentage, if I give you a percentage, are you going to move that decimal to the left or to the right? Left. Left. If I give you a decimal, are you going to move that to the left or to the right? Right. Right. So if I give you this, let's try a few more just to make sure that you really get this, okay? Because I can see some of you are kind of like, ah, you're iffy on it. You're really <clears throat> iffy on it. So we're going to try 10 examples all mixed up. Here you go. <laughs> if I give you a percent, I want a decimal. If I give you a decimal, I want a percent. See if you can handle it. Okay, I can't think of any more, so I'm done. It's stuck. I need you to be really good at changing from percent to decimal or decimal to percent. So if I've given you a percent, change it to a decimal. If I've given you a decimal, you change it to a percent. I'll give you about another minute. <laughs> 